Hi friends, Brooke here, creator of BrookeAlexandra.tv. Welcome to day number four of the Resolution Changemaker Challenge 2016. I have had such a great time with all of you joining in and today is going to be all about this pesky thing that shows up in nearly every area of our lives on some level and that is resistance. Resistance is something that shows up and it can show up in so many different ways. It's something that we have to work through on a daily basis in different parts of our lives. The idea for all of us is we wanna create an amazing lifestyle. We want to design our lifestyle. And this resistance really shows up with anything that when we're looking to evolve and improve and better ourselves, because a lot of times that involves doing new things or doing things that we haven't made a routine in our lives. I like to work with something I call the HDR, which is your healthy daily routine to create a high definition reality. For us to really live in this HD life, this HD reality, we have to beat resistance. We have to have it when it shows up, have tools and techniques for us to make our way through so that we can continue on growing and learning and becoming the most illuminated self that we can. Resistance shows up anywhere that we're looking to really improve ourselves, to evolve in our lives, to learn and to grow. And it will show up in every area of our life on some level, where we're looking to grow in our mental capacity and mental health, our emotional, creating the environment that we really, really want to be living in. The physical self when we're trying to get fit or eat healthy, there's always some level of resistance on these planes and even spiritually. So having resistance to meditating or doing visualizations or sitting down to do whatever practice that it is that we want to take us to the next level. Resistance often sneaks in telling us that we're not good enough. We don't know all of the outcomes that might happen so we shouldn't even start. What if we fail? What if someone else is better than us? What if we're not going to make it? Or I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. Who am I to change myself or change the world? Resistance shows up in so many different ways. The idea is to put things into place that are going to help you to beat the resistance to create a new way for yourself. And one of the best ways I know is through your healthy daily routine. Putting things in place that are going to help you to beat the resistance. They're going to give you baby steps along the way for you to do what it is that you need to do. Find what it is that you want in your life and then create a map. So that brings us to the challenge, the exercise for today. Today's challenge is to, again, maybe get your trusty journal or a good pen and paper and we're going to be writing a few things down. I want you to look at resistance and specifically in one area of your life. This could be a big goal this year. This could be towards your New Year's resolution. And you're going to be writing down what is it that actually is in the way of you really dedicating yourself to what it is that you want, that desire, that goal, that action, that way of being? So you're going to be writing down exactly what you feel. And again, you can do the embodiment exercise where you stop, take a few deep breaths, feel yourself settled into your body, and then ask yourself the question, what is in my way? of this goal, of this dream, of this aspiration, of this way of being, of this action, whatever that is for you, ask yourself, what is in the way? What is the biggest obstacle? What is my biggest resistance internally that's stopping me? And when you can identify it, it takes a lot of the power away because it's not this unknown thing that's going on kind of behind the scenes. When we address it, we know what it is, then you can make an action plan to overcome it. Another great thing is knowing that resistance is completely natural and it's gonna keep showing up in your life. So to use this tool for the future, to continue to identify what it is 
and then create an action plan. What steps can you take tomorrow, the next day, the next day? And maybe it's the same step every day, or maybe it's a series of steps. Maybe it's building upon each day so that you can reach that goal. You can attain those new heights and really start to design the lifestyle that you deserve and desire. I hope this helps you guys. I so look forward to hearing about what it is that's in your way, what your action steps you're gonna to take to move past it. And thank you again so, so, so much for joining me, signing off with all my love and gratitude. Ciao for now.